It's you. It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. Okay. Look. We both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science. You monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, the place where I talk about things that I find interesting while hoping you feel the same. Today I'm going to talk about how I turned the most evil thing in the universe into a glorified light switch. In the other words, my little voice assistant project right there. Let's get into it. Hey, uh, turn on studio lights. I unplugged my Google Home and Amazon Echo devices and put them in a box of shame and sold it off on a local Craigslist alternative. I got rid of them for privacy reasons, as the company's AI is cloud-based and basically a black box that I can never tell if the device is listening or not, what data they are sending to who. And I can't reasonably add functionality to the devices myself. I was without voice control in my smart home for about two months or something, and I noticed that I really missed the ability to control my devices by voice. In conclusion, I decided to make my own system using Raspberry Pi and Python. I mean, how hard it can be. I figured that my need was actually quite limited to, like, turning on and off devices and reading me the weather forecast and the temperature from outside. So I don't really need, like, more general AI to answer my questions. The problem I'm trying to solve is actually quite simple. Add vodka to my shopping list. I've added vodka. I did some research in the Python libraries and I figured that I can actually do this myself. I could make my own voice assistant. What to make it like? As anything I can make is probably going to sound more robotic than I do. I thought of having murderous AI as my home control assistant thing was kind of funny to me so uh, I was thinking the HAL 9000 and GLaDOS are two characters that kind of fill that niche. GLaDOS is the like main villain from the video game series Portal. She is quite a rich character and it was obvious choice for the who I want to make the voice assistant out of. I like GLaDOS as her voice is quite recognizable and the character has some quite well written background story in the game. As she is a robot in the game, it's forgiven that if the text-to-speech engine sounds a bit robotic. While doom scrolling YouTube on one evening, I ran into a video by Mr. Volt called uh, GLaDOS in real life. He had made an animatronic version of GLaDOS that he hooked up into his, uh, like... What do you want now? Cancel. Sorry, I thought you were talking to me. He had built this half a meter sized GLaDOS head with an animatronic eye and some neck muscle muscles to turn the head around. I thought the animatronic design was really cool. And as he decided to share his drawings, uh, I decided to duplicate his design. I have a pretty box that I can put my own voice assistant hardware inside. And there it is. In his video he hooked up his GLaDOS thing into a Amazon Echo device to do the voice control part, but I figured to make my own from scratch. There are surprisingly good tutorials in YouTube how to do those kind of things nowadays. The prototype I currently have is still called due to it's easy to recognize for the computers, but uh, the word GLaDOS is not found in any dictionary, so it's something that the speech-to-text algorithms never really get teached. What can it do? So far I have only uh, written the basic functionality. It can tell the time, 
I am here. What's the time? It's 19.03. It's funny how important the concept of time is for biological organisms like you. It can turn things on and off around the house and run automations. Hello again. Close living room curtain. Sure. It can tell me the weather and forecast within a week. So I can ask it for like what the weather is on Friday kind of things. Today it's expected to be cloudy with the surface temperatures ranging from 14 degrees to the low of 13 degrees Celsius. It can add things to my home assistant shopping list by speech. It can read sensor information from home assistant so it can respond to queries like what's the living room temperature or bathroom humidity or things like that. According to my sensors, somebody left the bloody fridge open again. And as it's a well-written character, I could add uh, lore-friendly jokes to it. Yes, I see you. Tell me a joke. If you want a joke, you should look in the mirror. And it can judge and it can be mean and it can fat shame me as the character in the game would. Add french fries to my shopping list. If you want to upset a human, just say their weight variance is above or below the norm. I thought it was funny. If you ask it some should I type of question, it can uh, respond with a random magic eight ball answer and it usually makes the conversation quite hilarious. Go away. Should the person watching the YouTube video subscribe to my channel? Ask me again in a few decades. Key point of the voice assistant is that it makes all the things lo happen locally, so it, it's quite fast. Only thing where it really needs an internet connection is the speech-to-text API to convert the voice data into text. Things I'm planning to do with it is to make the speech recognition run locally and use some sort of AI LSTM neural network model to do the uh, GLaDOS custom trigger word detection more efficiently than parsing text. Currently it's listening to I am here. Cancel. I must have misheard you. Because that word is something that computers can surprise surprise recognize quite well. Also need to add functionality to it once I figure out the intents and needs what I actually need the assistant for. And once the structure and the functions that I needed for have like solidified i uh, have all the use cases then i will uh turn the if else statement type of st program structure into more of a chatbot type of neural network algorithm so it can process uh, sp natural speech a bit better currently it's if my command contains this specific word then do something and it can misunderstand quite easily. GLaDOS can connect to Wi-Fi and talk locally with my home assistant server, which then connects to different devices around the house. It can move its eye back and forth. It can open and close its eyelids and show different colors in the eye neopixel ring. It can display textures in the back of the eye as there's a small LCD screen there. The eye is connected to the text-to-speech function and it can position the eye randomly between audio samples to save on the animation budget or use pre-animated sequences, for example. Oh, it's you. As a microphone, I'm using ReSpeaker version 2.0 board from Seed Studio and it can do things like echo and noise cancellation in the hardware, so the audio I'm feeding to the actual voice assistant software is already kind of cleaned. 
one nice functionality of the microphone board is that uh, it's a microphone array so uh, there's a piece of software running on it and it can tell the direction where the sound is coming from once i have the final mechanism to like turn the head around i'm planning to use the microphone's functionality to locate the sound so once you talk to the GLaDOS, it can turn its head towards you and be all extra creepy. It also has no IR version of the Raspberry Pi camera that is like a night vision camera built in. Once I have the mechanics to turn and tilt the head, I can use the infrared camera for facial detection and use that data as input to control the head. So I can make it follow you around in the darkness and just look you in the eye. Some of the mechanics are still missing. The mechanism that can turn the head and the mechanism that moves the eye up and down. During the project I got a lot of help from open source software designs and libraries that I found online. So I decided to share my project on GitHub. So now we have one more open source voice assistant. I'm planning to make a separate video on how the mechanics and the code works. So subscribe and catch that in your inbox when it drops. I'll be answering questions like how the speech recognition works and how does the device control my appliances and... How do I generate the GLaDOS voice? If you have any questions or ideas you want me to address in the next video, please drop them in the comments below. If you want to make your own GLaDOS voice assistant, you can grab my co source code from GitHub and go check out Mr. Volt's video linked in the description about building the mechanical animatronic. You can get the drawings and 3D printable files linked in this video description. Thanks to Arslas Portal subreddit for helping me with the design and coming up with lore-friendly jokes for the AI. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up so I know what kind of videos you guys enjoy. And if you didn't, then there's the other button. Thanks for watching!